Hello, everyone, on this lovely Tuesday evening. I wanted to welcome you all to Cara Donna's Master Series. This evening, we are uh, very lucky to have a presenter representing the Clearly Cayman product, Sarah Jane Hanlon, and the product is, clear, is Cobalt Coast on Grand Cayman, uh, Little Cayman Beach Resort on Little Cayman, and Brack Reef Beach on the island of Brack. So take it away, Sarah. Got me. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Um, hi, everybody. I'm just going to share my screen here with you all. And hopefully you can see um, my screen here. So I'm here today to talk to you um, about the Cayman Islands. I want to take you on a virtual trip to the islands. I'm going to call it the Great Cayman Escape because at this point in time, we're all looking for a little bit of escapism. Um, so I want to encourage you all to dream now and just let's maybe start planning your next dive vacation when it's safer to travel. Um, so I'm going to start you off with some information about the islands. Um, I'm going to tell you a little bit about myself. Um, and then from there, I will tell you a little bit about the policies and practices um, that we have put in place so that when you do travel to the islands, um, we are safe and we are ready to welcome you there. So, a little bit about myself. I actually lived in Grand Cayman for 10 years. Um, so throughout this presentation, you might find uh, that I'm a little biased towards Grand Cayman. <laughs> um, I have worked in the dive industry for 12 years. Um, and now I'm actually based in cold and snowy Wisconsin. Um, I was originally born in Scotland and the sunnier climes of the Caribbean just was calling to me. So that's how I ended up in um, the Cayman Islands. So I'm sure you know where the Cayman Islands are, but here is a little map if you are not familiar. Uh, the Cayman Islands are about an hour south of Miami. This um, little middle graphic that we have here just shows you the proximity um, of our little three little islands to the rest of the Caribbean. Um, the three islands that make up the Cayman Islands, um, which is a British overseas territory, so a passport is required uh, for travel to the islands. Um, but the three islands, you've got Grand Cayman here, the largest on the map because it is the largest of all three islands. It's about 22 miles long and about four miles wide. Um, and it's the most popular island. It's the one that is the most synonymous with um, the Cayman Islands in general. Uh, there, there's a lot to do in terms of activities, both um, on and off the water. Then we have Cayman Brac over here. It is the most easterly of the three islands. It's 12 miles long and just over a mile wide. As a Scottish girl myself, I do love the little story of how Cayman Brack got its name. Uh, Cayman Brack was originally settled um, by Scottish fishermen who, when they settled, they found uh, the limestone ridge that runs through the island and that ridge formed a bluff. And the Gaelic name for bluff is Brack. So hence it became Cayman Brack. The bluff itself, um, it actually reaches the highest elevation of all three islands and it sits at 140 feet at the highest level. Cayman Brack has about 1,500 residents um, and they share their island with over 200 different species of birds and many different iguanas. Um, it's got quite a rugged terrain and it's got plethora of caves and winding trails. It really is um, a kind of adventure island, um, in addition to obviously the fantastic diving that we have there. So our last little island is called Little Cayman. Um, it is 10 miles long and about a mile wide. And Cayman truly is little. Um, it is, um, just 10 miles, like I say, and it has one building which hosts the airport, the post office, the fire station is all in one building. 
Um, the island just has one bank and one um, permanent little shop as well. The population is about 150 people. So humans on that island are vastly outnumbered by birds and iguanas. Um, with it being so little, it truly is an island paradise. So how do we get to these little island paradise? Well, you're going to fly into Grand Cayman and then you're going to take the Cayman Airways Express over to the sister islands. Um, the airport in Grand Cayman was recently renovated. It has gone through a major expansion. Um, the expansion brought it um, from 43,000 square feet to 120,000 square feet. Um, and now it can accommodate over 2 million passengers. Um, with the expansion, we got new check-in areas, a new departure and arrivals hall. Um, and there's more uh, shopping and food options available um, to you also. Um, <clears throat> the little island hopper that will take you from um, Grand Cayman over to Cayman Brac and Little Cayman. It will take about 20 minutes to Cayman Brac on the jet, maybe around 40 minutes if you're taking this smaller island hopper that they have, which is a twin author. And to get to Little Cayman, um, we always take the little twin otter and it takes around 40 minutes to get there. So here I just have a little list um, of all the airlines that fly into the Grand Cayman um, and you'll find that all major airlines fly there. So with three islands, uh, we have three islands uh, three resorts, sorry, that you can also choose from, one on each island. Um, you can experience some of the world's best diving um, at all three islands. Each of our resorts is situated in a beachfront setting, so you'll always have gorgeous beachfront views. Um, you'll experience the warmest hospitality with all of our staff at the resorts. And if you have yet to dive with reef divers, um, the valley diving services that we offer, then uh, you're in for a treat. So reef divers is our dive operation across all three of our uh, resorts. You can experience the exact same level of service across all three resorts. And in fact, our superior valley diving ranks as one of the main reasons why people return to our resorts again and again. We do operate 12 custom built dive boats. They were all built with our divers in mind. They are spacious. We have camera tables, rinse tanks. Um, they have a nice upper deck for you to enjoy the views on your way out or coming back from your dive. Uh, reef divers with our valley style diving, it means we're taking the heavy lifting out of scuba diving so that you can enjoy the Cayman Islands dive sites at their very best. Um, the valley diving, if you are not familiar, uh, goes something like this. When you arrive to the resort, we will take your BCD and regulator um, and we will have it set up for you on the boat for your next morning's dive. When you arrive onto the dive boat, all you need to do then is just check your gear. At the end of your dive, um, we will also clean and store your gear too. When we arrive at the dive site, you're going to get a thorough safety briefing from our crew and it will include a map of the dive site. Um, from there, we'll get everybody into the water um, one by one. And what we'll do, we'll call out your name, we'll bring you to the back of the boat. If you can see here, we have two platforms for you to sit down. Just take a seat and the crew will help you get your gear on. And from there, all you need to do is take a giant stride into those warm, clear waters. 
at the end of your dive, it's the same process. Um, when you come up from your dive, take off your fins, sit on those little benches there. We'll take the gear off and store it for you. We'll also change out your tanks in between the dives too. So with this Valley Style service, you don't have to deal with lugging your gear back and forth. You don't have to deal with wearing your gear on a kind of rocky or dive boat. We call it no tank dancing. We want everybody to just relax, have a great time. You're there to dive. You're not there to worry about your gear. So now that you know what to expect with reef divers, how are you going to narrow down your choice of resort? So I'm going to begin by taking a little tour of our properties. And we're going to start with Cobalt Coast on Grand Cayman. Now, before I begin, if anyone has any questions about reef divers or the Cayman Islands in general, just post them in the chat and either uh, a Caradonna agent or myself can help. Um, I will be able to help at the end of the presentation. Just going to take a little pause here. Have a little sip of water, and if anybody has any questions, feel free to ask them. Okay, so moving on. Cobalt Coast, um, like I say, I always have a soft spot for Grand Cayman since I did live there for a decade. Um, but Cobalt Coast is really something a little bit different. Um, you get to have all the convenience and all the amenities that go with being on the bigger island of Grand Cayman. Um, you've got shopping, museums, different water sports. Um, but our location being on the northwest point of the island means that you're close to the action, but you're also close enough to have the peaceful and quiet vibes of the Cayman Islands. Um, at Cobalt Coast, we've got reef divers on hand right there on the property to take you to some of the best dive sites that we have on Grand Cayman. And Cobalt Coast is one of our only properties to offer shore diving. So if you just have to dive morning, noon and night, we have shore diving if the weather will allow. So our accommodations at Cobalt Coast. It is a very small and intimate resort and it only has 21 rooms. They're set over three levels. Um, just be aware there is no elevator. So I hope um, you bring your walking shoes. <laughs> Um, we have several different types of room for you guys, each offering something a little bit different and hopefully catering to the different travelers that may be out there. We have our garden view rooms being at a lower price point so it can suit any budget. We have our standard room which features two double beds so it's great for two friends sharing. We have our one bedroom suites, which offer a little bit of a larger spacious area. It has a separate living room. And then we have two bedroom suites, which are perfect for family. They can be a one bedroom locked off with a garden view, or it can be a dedicated two bedroom. And then um, the best part is the mermaid suite, which is our penthouse suite at the top there. If you can see, these two little areas here. This is our penthouse balcony, which overlooks uh, the ocean. So these ones are great if you're looking for a little bit of luxury. They have a king bed. They also have a sleeper sofa in the lounge area. So I think Cobalt Coast has a little bit of something for everybody. Now, on to the best part and why we're all going to the Cayman Islands, and that is diving. The Cayman Islands are famed for having 365 dive sites across the three islands. However, from this map, you can definitely see that the majority of these dive sites are in Grand Cayman. 
We are also lucky to have the world's best 12-foot dive, and that is Stingray City. Some of my favorite sites uh, include um, the Kitty Wake Wreck, which if you're not familiar with the Kitty Wake, she is a 251-foot X submarine rescue vessel. She was gifted to the Cayman Islands from the US Navy, and she is a great wreck for all levels of divers. You can see on the map the pinpoint where um, we are located. Cobalt Coast is here in the northwest point, and the Kitty Wick wreck sits about here, just, just halfway down Seven Mile Beach. So some of you may have dived the Kitty Week before. Um, she was scuttled in January 2011. However, during a tropical storm, tropical storm Nate in 2017, um, this storm did not impact the island directly. However, it was strong enough to bring swells that tipped the Kitty Week over onto her side. She was originally sitting straight up but after this storm passed, she began to list over to her port side, and now she sits at a 45 degree angle. Um, she's still fully intact though, and perfect for exploring because she sits in just 65 feet of water. So the Kitty Wake is definitely a must dive when you are on Grand Cayman. But some other dives you can see from these gorgeous pictures here, um, the, there's plenty for you to see and do when you're diving in the Cayman Islands. Our water temperature is between 78 and 85, so it provides year-round diving. Um, if you are like me and you like warm water diving, you will find that in the summer months, the water is so warm that you can get away with just putting on your rash guard and your BC. No need for wetsuits in the summer. And even in the winter, when it is a little chillier, you don't need anything large. Just a little three mil shorty will keep you warm during your dive. We have year-round visibility also. 100 feet um, is the norm, but in the summer months when it is a little calmer, you can get up to 150 to 200 feet of visibility. It's fantastic diving in the Cayman Islands. We have a fantastic mix of wall diving, wrecks, and we've got gorgeous reefs that are teeming with those little critters that macro photographers love, people like myself. The Cayman Islands are consistently voted one of the world's top dive destinations, and I think these pictures show exactly why. So when you're done diving for the day, the thing I'm always thinking about next is what to eat. <laughs> So with our packages across all three of our resorts, breakfast and dinner is included in all of them. We, at Cobalt Coast, we serve a buffet style breakfast and lunch. Um, we don't have a formal dining room there, but instead we dine al fresco by the pool. It is covered if there is bad weather, but it really is just the best atmosphere to be dining outside. In the evenings, your meal will be served a la carte. You can choose from one of three entrees. We also have soup, salad, bread, and desserts available as a buffet style. You're never gonna be hungry at Cobalt Coast. You're never gonna be hungry at any of our resorts. And our resorts have some of the most fantastic chefs. I can definitely attest to that. Every time I visit, I come back five times heavier because the food is fantastic. Our bar at Cobalt Coast is called Duffy's Bar. If you need a snack, you can order from the menu at any time. Um, our friendly bartenders are there to take your order and craft some delicious cocktails. So when we have, once we are done eating and having a little drink, once we're done our diving, sometimes there is a little time left for you to go and explore. So other things that you can do when you're on Grand Cayman, we do have shore diving available at Cobalt Coast and our house reef has a little mini wall. So it starts um, fairly shallow around 20, 25 feet 
it goes down to about 35, 45 feet. Um, the shore diving is available weather permitting, so just make a note of that. Shopping is great in the Cayman Islands, but especially Grand Cayman. We do have an area called Kamana Bay. Um, it is full of shopping, bars, and restaurants. It also has an observation tower, which was constructed with a three million piece mosaic that takes you up to the top of the observation tower. And this scene that that mosaic makes is typical scenes that you will find on a dive. In fact, when you start from the bottom and get to the top of the observation tower, um, you will, it's as if you're emerging from a dive. So it was a really cool piece. Um, it took quite a long time for them to install it. And I would highly recommend anyone visiting to take the stairs and admire this beautiful piece of art on the way to the top of the observation tower. Uh, I did mention Stingray City the dive. There's also a Stingray City sandbar, um, which is more like a snorkeling site. It is three to five feet deep, and you can get in the water and interact with the rays there. But you could also take an island tour around the island, go out to the East End, and see the indigenous blue iguanas at the Queen Elizabeth Botanic Park. So there's plenty of things to do when you are not in the water at Grand Cayman. So I'm going to take a little pause there and I'm going to show you exactly what it's like to stay at Cobalt Coast. There we go, that is Cobalt Coast. So now we're going to go to our next island. We're gonna hop on over to Cayman Brack Beach Resort. So Cayman Brack Beach Resort, you can find world-class diving right on your doorstep. Cayman Brack for me is a great getaway for people of all ages and experiences. Our boat dives are just such a short distance away from the resort, so you're not spending all day on a dive boat getting to your dives. In fact, across all three of our islands, the time it takes to leave the resort and actually arrive at your dive site is never longer than 30 minutes. So just relax and enjoy your time at Cayman Brack Beach Resort. We have a spa on site, 
We've got a gorgeous, huge pool you can see in the middle there. We have the Tipsy Turtle Bar and Cayman Brack, as I'll explain later, is the perfect island for the adventure seeker. You can try hiking or you can even try rock climbing on the bluff. So our accommodations at Cayman Brack Beach Resort are really beautiful. It's hard to believe that our resort actually has 40 rooms. Um, it's set over two stories and all our rooms are spacious. They face the pool and the beach and they have either king or two double beds. It's a great place for families too, being right on the beach. There's plenty of places where the kids can play. And of course our dive shop is right on the property too. So you definitely wanna get out diving. So here we go. This is our map of Cayman Brack's dive sites. You can see the pin on the um, map here where our resort is located. Um, we are, like I say, within short boat rides to all of the best dive sites on Cayman Brack. On the northwest side of Cayman Brack, um, you will find the wreck of the Captain Keith Tibbet. Um, this is a Soviet Union built frigate that is 330 feet long. Um, it was built by the Soviets for the Cuban Navy in 1984. The Cayman Islands managed to purchase it and they scuttled it offshore in 1996. The wreck has been down there for just under 25 years but the sea life is already really well established. Um, as you can see by our little grouper uh, over here, he is really friendly and he is a resident that always appears during your dive on the Tibbets. Some of my other favorite sites are um, the Elkhorn Forest, which is this picture in the bottom left here. Um, one of my most memorable dives in Cayman Brack was visiting Pillar Coral Reef. I have never in my life seen Pillar Corals as tall as they are there in my whole life. Um, unfortunately, I don't have a photo of Pillar Coral Reef, so you'll have to just come and visit it for yourself. Again, once we're done diving for the day, it's time to think about some food and maybe a little beverage. So our Meals are served buffet style at Cayman Brack. Um, chef prepared and they're served in our air conditioned dining room. But we also have a screened in sunroom. So if you prefer to be a little more al fresco, then you can sit in our screened in sunroom. Cayman Brack Beach Resort has a little steakhouse called Island Prime. So if you're celebrating a special occasion or you want to just have a little treat to yourself, then book a table at our steakhouse. I do recommend reservations. It is a small little restaurant and it's only open on Tuesday, Thursday and Saturday, but definitely worth a visit during your stay. The Tipsy Turtle Bar is definitely the place to be when you're at King Brack. Um, it's a two-story building, so you can grab a cocktail at the end of your dives and go up to the top deck and watch the sunset right there. The Tipsy Turtle is also home to all the activities that we're going to have at the resort throughout the week. And some of those activities include bingo and trivia. And on Wednesdays, we have some local crafters come in and do a little mini market. But the highlight of the week has to be our Friday barbecue cookout. We all come around by the pool, we have live music, so make sure to bring your dancing shoes. If you do have any topside time, um, there's plenty of things to do at the resort itself. We have a tennis court, we have a basketball court, and we have beach volleyball courts. So you can challenge your buddy to a friendly game. We do have the bluff, 
where you can learn to rock climbs with our friends at Rock Iguana. These guys are absolute professionals, and if they can take a scaredy cat like me and make me rock climb up a 140-foot bluff, then I'm sure they can do the same for you. You could also arrange to have a little tour of the island. There's lots of different sites for you to see um, if climbing the bluff is not your thing. We have plenty of um, local taxi drivers that are willing to take you out on a nice island tour. It would be nice to see the sights of Cayman Brack again. If you are more of a relaxation with a book kind of person, we do have Tropical Touch Day Spa at Cayman Brack. It is recommended that you book your treatments in advance. Our therapist is available by appointment only. Um, she can do everything from massage therapy, body treatments and facial therapy. If you're having some trouble with your ears or sinuses, she does have a treatment for blocked ears and sinus relief. So it may help you to get back out diving again. So now that you've heard all about Cayman Brack Beach Resort, it's time for us to dive in. I don't know about you, but after watching some of those dives, I am ready to get back into the water. <laughs> so moving on to uh, Little Cayman Beach Resort. Little Cayman being obviously the smallest of the three islands, but Little Cayman boasts some of the most magnificent diving in the world, and that's in the form of Bloody Bay Wall. Little Cayman with it only be having 150 residents, humans are definitely outnumbered by the iguana and bird populations. But it's not the bird and iguana populations that you're here to see. It's definitely going to be the sites of the Bloody Bay Wall. Little Cayman is a fan favorite among repeat guests. We have people returning year after year. Many people, once they have got on the plane to return home, they're already calling us to come back. Kate, Little Cayman is definitely a fan favorite 
among divers. And you really have to see it to believe it too. Our accommodations um, are very similar to our other properties. They're um, spacious, they have all the great amenities. Um, when you're at Cayman, Little Cayman, you are there for the spectacular diving. We have 12 oceanfront rooms and 28 co-view rooms. It's really an intimate little resort. But you're here for the diving. And here's the dive sites that we have in Little Cayman. You may see a few favorites out there of your own. And here is the Bloody Bay Wall. I can only say so much about it because even these pictures are not doing it justice to seeing it in real life. If you haven't visited, it is a must dive for any diver out there. The sheer walls are absolutely spectacular. And as you can see, they make for some of the most incredible photographs. So if you are a photographer, this is the place for you. And not only that, these huge walls that you're seeing here, the macro life on the reefs that we have is spectacular too. So if you're a person like me and you like to just hover over one spot and wait for those little guys to come out, Little Cayman is a great place for that too. Once we have ascended from our dives, it's time to start thinking about food. <laughs> Again, as with our other properties, we do serve our meals buffet style. But we also, we have a dining room which has been newly renovated on Little Cayman. And we have a screened in porch area as well if you do not like to be seated in the AC. We have a bar called Beach Nuts. And Beach Nuts is probably the most unique dive bar that you're going to come across. As you can see from the picture on the top right there. It has been decorated by all of our divers over the course of the years. Each group that comes in, they make their own little sign and leave their own little mark on our bar. It is the hub of all the action on, uh, on the property. Our friendly bartenders are gonna ensure that you have a great time. And definitely if you're bringing friends, don't forget to leave your mark on the bar too. Uh, throughout the week, we have loads of different things to keep you entertained too, but by far the favorite and the most famous is our karaoke night. There are other things to do in Little Cayman. Um, you can hang out in a hammock to just chill and listen to the waves. You could be adventurous and take a kayak or stand up paddleboard over to Owen Island. Um, as you can see from the picture here, our property is here. It's a bit of a ways, but it's worth it. Um, you can also grab a bicycle and you can explore the island via bike as well. Just remember to watch out for our local wildlife because our rock iguanas, which are indigenous to the island, they have the right of way. Okay, <laughs> and don't forget if you're riding your bike to ride on the left side of the road. So that's our islands. Hopefully I have taken you on a little trip to all three of the Cayman Islands. Hopefully I have inspired you to start dreaming about your next dive vacation. And hopefully you're ready to start planning your next dive vacation. We are living in some uncertain times right now, and we do need to address what is happening with the coronavirus. So here is our commitment to safety for you. We are committed to sanitizing and having great hygiene practices. All our staff will be washing their hands. They will be um, pre-screened upon arrival to their shift every day, and anyone with any signs of the virus will be sent home. We're going to have freestanding hand sanitizing stations for everybody to use. We have invested in some industry leading cleaning equipment. Um, it's called electrostatic sprayers and it will cover all surfaces in hospital grade sanitizers. 
we are paying particular attention to those high touch areas such as light switches and door handles, television remote controls, handrails, and we'll be doing this throughout the day, all day. Our outdoor seating and lounge areas are going to be treated with an outdoor fogging device. And it's going to be that same hospital grade sanitizer as well. When it comes to meal services, we always follow serve safe operating guidelines, but we are making modifications as well to eliminate multiple contacts in your dining experience. We have adjusted our practices and how we work. We're making modifications along the way. This is what we've come up with now, um, but we will continue to adapt as we see necessary. We want to keep you safe and that is our top priority. Um, when you're diving with us, just know that our dive centers are regularly cleaned and sanitized throughout the day. Again, we pay specific attention to those um, high touch areas. All our dive rental equipment is deep cleaned and sanitized and we use the EPA's end list, which are the list of cleaners that are proven to kill the coronavirus. All our gas filling stations will be um, sanitized prior to use. All our rinsing stations will be disinfected and tanks will be cleaned and sanitized between boat trips. When you're on the boat, our boats will be deep cleaned every night, every day. Our crew will be cleaning as they go during the dives. They're going to be disinfecting high touch areas as well, handrails and things like that. We are going to implement a diver friendly social, social courtesy protocol. And so when you're given your dive briefing during the morning, we'll let you know how we can stay socially distant, how we can be aware of each other. At Reef Divers, we maintain safe practices for all our gear handling. All our guest equipment is going to be rinsed and disinfected daily with an endless sanitizer, which has been proven to be safe for our equipment. We just want you to know that safety is the underpinning of diving and it's always our most important duty to you guys and our employees. We don't know what the outcome of the coronavirus pandemic is going to be, but you can be assured that we are doing everything that we can to make sure your vacation is safe from beginning to end. So with that, hopefully you're ready to book your next great Cayman escape. So let's go and you contact your agent today. Let us know if you have any questions. I am Thank ready. Thank you so much, Sarah Jane. You're Wonderful welcome. presentation. And um, I know our entire agent staff can attest to the quality that um, the resorts have and always continuing to keep your standards very high. So we're sure with the coronavirus, you will be on top of that 100%. One of our agents, Kim Mackey, is going, has been answering the chat um, throughout the presentation, but she's going to come on live and point out some important questions. Yep. I will just make one point is that if you are diving the Kitty Wake, Cara Donna helps sponsor the sinking of the Kitty Wake, and that we actually true. have a plaque <laughs> on the bell tower. So when you're down there diving, go ahead and check that out and take some pictures and send it to us. <laughs> All righty, Kim, go ahead and take it away. Hi, Sarah Jane. Can you hear me? Yes. Okay, so we had some people asking about when is the best time to go to the Cayman Islands? Oh, that is such a hard one because it is a year-round destination. Um, personally, my favorite time was always um, April, May, maybe into June too. The weather was not too warm. It wasn't too windy at that time of year. The water had not got too warm yet. Um, so for me personally, that was my favorite time when I was there, um, but really came in as a year round destination. So there is no must go time. Okay. And then we also had some people asking about the dive schedules as far as the boats in the morning, how many dives and then how many dives in the afternoon. Yep. So we go out in the morning uh, at eight o'clock. We do two dives in the morning. Um, and then we come back, we'll have some lunch. There is an afternoon dive that you can take also. 
Um, and then we have shore diving at Cobalt Coast as well. Um, we can do night dives. They are on request. They're not regularly scheduled. Um, but if you want to do a night dive, just let us know and we'll see if we can accommodate it. Okay. And then we had some people asking if you're staying in BRAC, can they do a day trip to Little Cayman? And also in the reverse, if you're in Little Cayman, can you do a day trip to BRAC? That is a great question. And that is very true. We can do that. So it's always weather permitting, um, but we would love our Cayman Brackers to go over and see Little Cayman and vice versa. So we try and arrange a boat trip once a week um, to see if, if weather dependent that we can actually do it um, so that each resort will get a little taste of the other one. And hopefully you love it so much that you'll book your next trip to the other property. Okay, just a couple other questions. We had people asking about how many divers on each boat. So our boats can hold up to 20 divers. Um, we are a pretty popular resort. Um, so usually it's around 20 divers. Okay, and what about the bottom times? We don't have any set bottom times. You will just dive on a profile. Okay. So as long as you're on air, then you can have as much time as you want. <laughs> Gotcha. And then we had some people concerned about the uh, luggage uh, restrictions on the hopper flights. Do you have any info on that that you can share? I don't really have any info on that specifically. Um, but what I can tell you is that um, obviously don't travel with a huge, um, huge luggage. <laughs> it is a smaller little hopper flight. Um, Cayman Airways, they do try their best to allow you to dive, um, at, sorry, to travel with your luggage. If they cannot accommodate it, then your luggage will be on the next flight and it will arrive at the resort shortly after. Um, I can't really speak for Cayman Airways too much, I'm afraid, but. I think that it's 55 pounds um, total per person and it's pretty minimal um, over that as far as what they charge, but it, sometimes it won't make it till the next flight, I believe, um, yes. if you overweight, so. Um, we had a couple other people asking questions. Um, Rob was asking, is the dining in Cayman Brack and Little Cayman buffet style? You might have touched on that already. Yes, it is buffet style. Um, obviously, we don't know what is going to, what traveling after the coronavirus is going to look like. So it may be that we can offer a buffet style after um, we are open, we are allowed open to, to travel again. So um, we're not sure how it's going to look like um, after the coronavirus, um, but it has always been served buffet style. We do cater to um, allergies and dietary restrictions as much as we can. Um, definitely let us know in advance so that we can arrange um, some things for you. Being on an island, obviously everything is shifting. So if you do have a very strict diet, um, then we do have to make arrangements in advance. So the earlier that you let us know about any dietary restrictions, then the easier it is for us to accommodate. Okay, and we had um, someone asking about the diver to guide ratio. Do you have that information? Um, yes, so we do put uh, one guide in the water. Um, they're there just as guiding only. Um, certified divers obviously will have their body. So um, we do have a guide in the water if you need it. Okay, and I'm not sure if you touched on it already about the, um, the travel restrictions right now to Cayman. I have somebody asking about how many flights per day right now, which of course there, there aren't any, unfortunately. Mm -hmm. No, know. so at the moment, um, the premier of the Cayman Islands has closed the borders until September 1st, 2020. So the main priority right now for the Cayman Islands government is to protect its people. It's a small island. Um, we, we do have a healthcare system, but we obviously don't want to overrun it. So at the moment, um, they are just prepared to um, look after their citizens by closing the borders. Um, and as such, obviously, our properties are not open at the moment. Um, when the borders do reopen, we will try our very best to open as soon as we can after that. Um, but for right now, that's as far as we know is that the Caymans will remain closed until September 1st. 
Okay. Um, does anybody else have any questions? I think we answered most of them so far. Well, thank, thank you again you for putting on a presentation. It's been wonderful. And it's really, really everybody I'm sure is very anxious to get in the water again and enjoy the sport we all love so much. Thank you so much, Sarah Jane. We hope to see you soon. Thank you. I hope to see you all soon on yes. the island. <laughs> yes. Good, good night, everyone. Thank you. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.